All right, hey folks, uh, gonna go over a video for the uh, fuel filter on a 2017 Cummins diesel uh, Ram, obviously. Uh, I've uh, had it done at the dealer and I quickly realized that it was way overpriced. So I did some research, found the uh, fuel filters online and watched a few videos to see how it was done. And I just figured I would post my video of me doing it on my channel so people can click on it and see and hopefully get the information and see how easy it is, how inexpensive it is compared to having your dealer do it. Uh, just because diesels are expensive, maintenance is expensive. There's no point in paying a dealer more money than needed when you can do it yourself. All right. These are the filters I purchased. Uh, I purchased mine through Amazon. Uh, just so you can see the nomenclatures there. These are the Mopar Correct for 2017 6.7 liter Cummins. Uh, and I purchased this right here, this 29 millimeter uh, socket. The socket was eight something, is almost nine bucks. And then these together were $97. So these two filters, 97 bucks. The socket that I didn't have was about nine bucks. So that was my total for the purchase to do this. Um, I think the dealership charges around 300 bucks or could be more, could be a hair less, but still that's, if anything, it's a hundred bucks more than what it's worth. So uh, just kind of give you a heads up and let you know what the nomenclatures are what you need for is this year model and the socket that you'll need. I'd also advise that you have a uh, vise as well. All right, in addition to the filters in the uh, that 29 millimeter socket, you're gonna need a ratchet. And I've come up with a 12 inch and a six inch extension with a flex uh, socket to uh, allow you to uh, get in there and I'll show you quickly or here in a second uh, the best route to uh, undo that filter top. Uh, the Phillips screwdriver is for the uh, release valve. I'll show you that. Also I recommend having some kind of uh, catch pan with some kind of floor dry uh, absorb up any uh, diesel fuel that leaks out because there's going to be some. Alright if you look you'll see uh, that you look right there that's where your first filter is that's by the engine and then right there that little yellow is the uh, release valve you want to release that drain the fuel a little bit before you start uh, taking that top off and then we'll move over to that socket or put that socket down on the top of that uh, cover there and I'll show you the best route to do that all right, if you'll see that tube right there, that's where that release valve goes. Now, I would love to put like a bottle there, and you can do that. You can put a bottle there and that's fine. Um, but when you open that top of that fuel filter, you're still gonna have some drain out, not of this tube, but of that, that fuel filter is. So that's why you're gonna want this. So I'm just gonna put this directly underneath just so that catches everything. Yeah, I'm gonna get diesel fuel on the bottom of my truck, but it'll be all right. Um, also, wear gloves. Uh, you're gonna be dealing with that diesel fuel. Uh, it'll dry out your hands. I mean, it's just no point if you have them. If not, it's no big whoop. All right. All right. Turn that half a turn. It's gonna leak out. Should fall right down that that drain pan. And once that's done, then you can uh, remove that cover. Okay, I'm gonna show you real quick. This is where you're gonna want to go. 
sorry, it's hard to hold the camera. All right, so it's gonna get a little snagged right there. So you're just gonna have to kind of wiggle it through. And it's gonna, it's gonna fall right down on there. And see, that's perfect. See how that works right there? So I'm gonna put this camera back so you can watch it. <laughs> Just so everybody, so everybody. No, <laughs> I had to get the breaker bar out um, to get that loose. So just kind of keep that in mind. Once you break it loose though, it seems like it's good to go. Yeah, you can hear it. so you can hear it there definitely let that bad boy get as much of the diesel out as you can You'll see a little ring. Well, I'm gonna take that off because you're gonna be provided with a new one. Give you a look. Here's the new one. Here's the new and old one side by side. See, it comes with the little rubber gasket. These are identical, just so you know when purchasing online you're not buying a knockoff or some cheap company or something not saying that they don't all work the same but still all right so definitely gonna want to lube your your rubber seal i just using the fuel that's kind of in the uh lid here just enough to get it wet and then i'm gonna Put that down in there. Make sure that's down on there. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see it on there. And then you just take your filter, your new filter. There's no, uh, there's nothing in there that you have to take out or anything once you pull the plastic off. It's gonna, there, it pops in there just like so. Put the lid on. Obviously you wanna close your your valve, don't forget to close that. This is the half turn back. And then, all right, and of course, you're gonna tighten this back up. Say get pretty snug just because how tight it was getting it off. Uh, definitely don't want that leaking. Alright. Well, gonna prime the uh, truck and turn the truck on, make sure we don't have any issues, and uh, then this one will be done and we can move on to the uh, 
one under the truck. All right. So you see, that's the rear tire, the bed of the truck. We're gonna come up under. That's the fuel filter that you need to remove on the back side. You can see that it's under the bed. Here's the fuel tank, drive shaft right there at the yoke. So that's it. That's the wire. All right. So, not this black one, but the blue connection behind that or up above that is what you need to disconnect so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now um bear with me hard to hold the camera and do this so i'm gonna use this little screwdriver to pry the the prongs back in here or pry that down so i can pull that out and uh once i get that Done. I hate this being in the way. See, there you go. Get a good view of it right there. So you got to remove that one, the blue one, not the one that my finger's on. Uh, and then uh, you can uh, twist, you can start twisting that off. That way you don't end up uh, ruining those wires or whatnot or ripping those out. So, all right, gonna get that done. All right, as you can see, That little right there has to be pushed down. Little thing right there catches. And then that's loose. And you can, you're gonna twist this to let that drain out. Obviously have your drip pan underneath. And then we'll uh, twist this off. Uh, probably best to have a, uh, like an oil filter wrench. To twist that off and uh, we'll get that going. So you can see I've added just a rubber hose down from that bleed off valve down to the, uh, the little drainage uh, that I have. That way, because you got this drive shaft and everything and that's just going to make a big mess. So I'm going to go ahead and... Alright, so that really helped, but just so you know... Uh, the tube that I used it still was able to leak a little out on the tube on this little hose and obviously it ran along the drive shaft and dripped down but I was able to catch it in the drainage uh, bucket but just kind of keep that in mind when you're when you're draining that if you don't have you know even if you do do a line if it's not tight up against there, then you know you're gonna it's gonna drip along that. But it did help reduce the mess big time. All right, so now that this uh, filter is drained, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. But I wanted to make a little note when releasing this valve right here to drain it, you have to rotate it about two or three times full circle before it comes to a complete stop knowing that the valve's fully open. Unlike the front fuel filter where you only have to turn that half like a, a quarter turn and it is fully open. So just kind of keep that in mind when you start turning it you're gonna like turn it and keep turning and keep turning and you're gonna start questioning yourself but just keep going all the way and then it'll start letting that fuel out. So now we're going to take a filter wrench right here and we're gonna put that on there and we're gonna wrench that off all right and just so everybody can see um, that filter wrench is just right there at the base of that filter so don't don't think that you have to get it all the way up just it's gonna be right there at the base of it and it's gonna start moving it I've, I've already felt it starting to move so um, I can't, it's hard to do with pulling the camera 
and I don't know if more fuel is going to come out here, so I definitely don't want this phone sitting right here when the fuel dumps, if that might be the case. So, all right, I'm going to start rotating right, this. And right, rightfully so, this did start leaking. Um, up there, you see, it's dripping a little bit. I would recommend cleaning that off, and then you're going to take this, you're going to go put it in a vise, you're going to unscrew this piece right here and put that on your new filter. I'm going to let this kind of drain out a little bit into the uh, the bucket here. And then I'm going to get that done. And then we'll be able to install it and uh, get this thing going and we'll be done. So... Obviously, my uh, vise is on the smaller end, so I had to go right here, but that does work. So this is, a, I guess, a medium vise. It's not the super large one, so if you got a, a medium-sized vise, you should be fine. just want to get this perfect. Obviously, a crescent wrench would probably work best, but as you can see, this is working just fine. So nice and slow. And once you got it loosened, Right there is what you're going to put on the uh, the new filter. So definitely don't damage that. Just lay that right there and I'll go get the new filter. Alright, so I got the new filter. Just again, just so you see, it's the MO867. Here's this number as well, just in case. I, I don't want to give anybody the wrong numbers. So. It comes with gaskets as well. So obviously you're going to want to put these gaskets on. Making sure that and you can use just from from the fuel that you have. And I'm pretty sure my, these rubber gaskets are just fine, but it's better safe than sorry. When dealing with this, you know. And just like I did, taking it off, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this down just a, just enough where I can snug that. Just like so. Where I know that's that's seated on there pretty good. I'm not gonna leak with the pressure. All right, loosen that up, and then you have this filter, this uh, gasket right here.
That'll go right in there. And then we'll put that on. Good can wipe down. Uh, take my new filter. Start. All right. As you can see, I got on there. All right, so it's hand tight. Now we're gonna ratchet it down and make it a. Uh, uh, filter wrench tight. All right, now that we got that tightened with the wrench, I'm gonna plug in the this little cord back here, and you hear it snap. It's in there. that matters all right that should be it now we just got to prime the fuel back in there uh, we'll reset the uh, fuel filter uh. gauge Issues. So now we're just gonna reset this. That's the uh, you gotta hold it, and then I'm going to okay that. All right, there we go. Ninety-nine percent. Just got done. As you saw, reset the odometer for the fuel filter or caliber whatever you want to call it um, good to go truck runs no issues both filters are replaced and should be good for a while uh, like I said is a little hair over a hundred bucks um, to do it myself and that was buying both filters and the socket next time it will be under a hundred bucks just because I have the socket already and the other tools obviously if you don't have any tools anything it's going to cost you a little bit more but i'm guessing if you have a pickup you probably have tools and you're able to do this for the same price that i did um <laughs> but if not yeah it's going to cost you a little bit more but definitely not as much as it's going to cost you at the dealership so just keep that in mind um if you have any questions put them down below in the comments i hope this video helped and uh, y'all take care. Bye.